All right, so we're now on our second challenge. The first one, of course, I won, right? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's tough to find out. So I want everyone to, to uh, meet Leslie. Leslie's the newest member of our team. Uh, she's come from up north. She is a realtor up in Chicago, right? So she's down here now helping us out and helping us uh, help our uh, buyers and sellers. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead. Amanda's actually, they, they thought that it was unfair that I picked the challenges each week. So Amanda's picking the challenge this week. So Amanda, tell us what your challenge is. So let's see what kind of amenities we can find in the communities. Maybe the nicest amenities, the most amenities, whatever. So what, what is it? Is it the nicest or the most? Well, oh, okay. yeah. So the one that has the most and the nicest, is there any, um, so is there any restrictions on that? No, right. Might. I'll come up with the same one. I don't know. <laughs> no restrictions. <laughs> that could be dangerous. Um, it has to be in Florida. <laughs> I was already thinking different states. I was like, maybe Hawaii has some really cool things. <laughs> so, you have to actually go there in person. Okay, I have to go there in person. Mm -hmm. I, I could fly to Hawaii. So, Can I come to? <laughs> uh, so we'll stick, we'll stick to the Central Florida area. Right. All right, and uh, just the best amenities, the best place to live, best mm -hmm. lifestyle community. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, some people do really like that lifestyle community. Basically, like what do you get for your HOA, right? Yeah. Like, okay. yeah. So, I so, love the price. Yeah, should we, we need to include the price of the HOA? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, I don't think we need to maybe find the least expensive HOA, just the best one. The best one, yeah, the best yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. All right, sounds That's good. good. So let's go out there and do it. Sounds good. All right, it's good. All right, so we're ready for our team challenge results. Amanda, this is your team challenge, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so I'll go ahead and go first this time. Um, and let's go ahead and watch what I thought was the best community with the best amenities. So what community has the best amenities here in the Central Florida area? Now that's kind of hard to figure out because there's so many different types of communities. Uh, there are vacation rental communities where people come as tourists and come and they have some amazing amenities there, such places as uh, Champions Gate and, and Encore. And they are really cool. They have slides and water, like water features and everything like that, F fun for the family. Then we also have the active adult communities and they have a whole bunch of different activities as well uh, for the active adult community. But I thought that it'd be best that I, if I stuck to just like a regular community with really nice amenities, decent cost of living, close to everything, really convenient to other uh, areas of town as well. So what I decided to do was go with Loria Park in Lake Nona. And the reason why is because they have some really nice amenities there and it's, uh, it's open for everyone. It's a great lifestyle community. So some of the things that it has, I'll show you here, is uh, they have a really nice pool area. As you can see, the pool has got two different pools. You got one pool where like the kids can go and play. They have the uh, like the beach walk-in area, and then you have a volleyball court and a little patch of grass in between to where you go to the lap pool. Um, and then also throughout the community, there's 44 miles of walking paths all throughout the community. You can see some examples of them here. Um, also on top of all the walking paths, we also have a community garden. Um, and where you can come and you can plant your own vegetables and then you know watch them grow and then come and get them to eat later which would be pretty cool. There's a fitness center uh, with plenty of different um, uh, activities for doing fitness wh whether it's weights or uh, cycling or treadmill they have all those sorts of things here at this fitness center. They also have a lake house. Lake house is great for gatherings you can um, you know book it out for uh, larger gatherings there and that's actually right next to canvas and all this uh, the, the the fitness center the lake house the pools are all in this one little central area they even have like car shows and things like that here on the weekends and canvas is a, a full serve restaurant within the community now if you are looking to look at other restaurants you can go on this really cool driverless shuttle as you see here and this will actually take you over to another section of, of the community that's right outside of uh, Lori Park or still within Lori Park actually and you come to the a couple restaurants you have Chroma which is a really nice restaurant and Bosphorus which is a Turkish restaurant and this is all in the area of the Beacon. Now the Beacon's a, an art feature they have a bunch of different art features here 
in the Lake Nona area to explore. If you wanna see them all, make sure you check out my full video on Laurier Park where I give a full review of everything there is to do in Laurier Park and all the different types of artwork in Laurier Park. And I'll link that below this video. Um, and then also we have uh, Boxy Park there. Boxy Park has some really good entertainment. Obviously right now we're in 2020, we're in uh, November, at the end of November 2020. So a lot of the gatherings are not happening, but uh, prior to this year, and I'm sure uh, shortly, you know, hopefully by the end of 2021, uh, they have concerts here. It's a great place to, to gather. There's another volleyball court over here where you can you know, play volleyball in different leagues. Um, so pretty cool little area over here. Um, they also have Laureate Park Elementary School within the community. So it's, it's you know walking distance to quite a few of the houses in the community. And there's even a water park um, behind the, um, you know, to the side of the community uh, that gives you a whole bunch of different options for the, you know, for the family fun. Uh, so I think that Laurier Park is a really good community with lots of amenities and a great place to live. You guys can't tell, but I am smiling underneath here. Oh, oh and by the way, for everyone knowing, this is December 2020. We're sort of right in the middle of the pandemic. Um, the vaccines are coming out, so hopefully the masks will be all soon so you can see our nice smiling faces behind these masks. But because we're a little close, we decided to keep them on today. Uh, so what do you guys think? I love Laura Park. You like, well, yeah, I do too. Laura Park is an awesome place to live. So Yeah, I mean, it's so techy and just so much fun. I definitely want to take a ride on one of those driverless buses. The beat, the beat buses? Yeah, I didn't actually mention the, the how techy it is. They have like really high speed internet there they're called Deck Deus. And it's, so it's, it's like a lot of the doctors are there, so they can upload things really fast. So it's pretty neat. So, any other comments on Lori so, Park? The branch on Gambas are great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, food, the food's amazing in that area. So, uh, obviously, I think there are some other communities with some great amenities that you guys probably have caught that are like set up for vacations or active adults. So, uh, and like Nona has a water park I've been meaning to go there too. Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, Leslie. So um, I kind of went be in between um, vacation and residential, the Oasis at. Oh. <laughs> I think we had two people that did the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, the Oasis um, at, uh, what is it? Champions Gate. Champions Gate. Champions Gate. Yeah, I'm thinking Gateway. Champions Gate. <laughs> yes. It, there are so many different amenities there, so. Originally, I was gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. actually filming myself fully clothed going down one of the slides, uh -huh. but it was a little too cold to do that. So let's look at Championscape. Maybe we can look at both of yours. Why not? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's look at both of your Champion Gates. So I am here um, at the Champions Gate Oasis uh, Clubhouse. Just wanted to show you some of the amenities that are available. You have a full, bar and restaurant here. This is the Oasis Clubhouse Business Center. This Clubhouse Theater. Where they can show movies for guests. What's showing right now? Look, they have fun events on different nights. Monday night is burger night. If you have a meeting, there are conference rooms available. Here's a fun playroom. Heck man! A fully functional fitness center open from 9 to 9 with all of your favorite equipment. There's a splash pad available for the kids. There's massages available daily at the cabana. Water slides available with a lazy river. And a zero entry pool, cabana, the whole back there. We have a uh, sand volleyball court. There's a spa. And this is the main pool with the tiki bar. So much fun. 
There's even snow cones available. What if you decided to move to Florida and you were able to live the resort lifestyle every single day? That's what you get here in Champions Gate. We also have access to walking trails and the Pro 18 hole golf course. Full amenities here at Champions Gate. Hi guys, this is Jonathan Orgato with PRB and Melo Group. This week we have a challenge and the challenge is about find the community in Central Florida with the best amenities. I found this beautiful community in the Devonport area, Oasis at Champions Gate by Lenar. And, and I like it a lot because these communities offer vacation homes and res residential homes. And you can get access to the 18 hole golf course. And of course, also to the Oasis Clubhouse. This is the Oasis Clubhouse, that's the Lazy River and the pool. We have here the two stories water slide. This is the children's splash sun. And here we have my favorite place, the Tiki Bar, where you can get your favorite drinks. Inside of the building we have the we have this gay gaming room. We have the bar and restaurant. The cinema and the fitness center where you can get in full. Next to the building you can find the sun volleyball course and the country club tennis course. And this is a beautiful view from the 18 hole golf course. This is the end. See you in the next challenge. Bye bye. So, this is a first, but it's only the second time we've done this challenge. We have two of you that chose Oasis. Oasis was definitely one that came popped to my mind immediately when we said that amenities. You probably came to everyone's mind when we said amenities. It's an yeah. awesome place, vacation yeah. rental place. Anyone looking for just coming down on vacations, you go to BRBO and check out um, Champions if you want to use those amenities as well. Or you can buy one of the vacation homes and let us know and we'll help you with that. Um, what else did you, what did the two of you think about Champions Oh, Oasis, I really like that specific community. I also wanted to do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was in, in the, at the top of my list. Uh -huh. I like that they, um, aside of all everything they have, they always have activities going on yeah. every week, every month. So that's nice to have, especially if you have kids. They have room, they have everything there. It's a pretty cool place. Mm -hmm. So, all right, um, Juliana, what did you come up with? I did a community in Kissimmee called Tapestry, and it's really nice. It has a um, pool, it has gym, it has activity center, and it has dog parks, and it's really nice just for regular families. All right, so let's check out the video you did. Hi guys, this is Juliana Izquierdo with PRB and the Melo Group. This is my video for the Challenge of Humanities. I'm at a community in Kissimmee called Tapestry by Madame Homes. This is just a regular community because I know there would be some 55 plus or um, vacation homes. So I just wanted to do a regular Central Florida um, community what they usually offer. This one's really nice. Um, it has the gym, uh, room for activities. It has parks like this one all over the community. Um, over here it has um, a fire pit for days, cold days like this one. Back over here I'm going to show you. It has this big open space where people usually just play soccer or football and then in this area over here is one of the many dog parks they have in this community. So. I think that covers it all. I hope so, but if not, watch this video.
Tapestry. Yes. Nice place. <laughs> so family place too. It's not one of the vacation rentals or active adults. Has lots of things. Sort of like Warwick Park, mm -hmm. but cheaper. Maybe you can get. <laughs> Maybe um, have the more, more. Yeah, like, what about, what about, like, the Laurie Park has more food, but you can get a more value for your money probably at a tapestry as far as home size for for the cost. And it's really close to the Loop and Hunter Street. Loop's Street. got lots of shopping there, lots of restaurants. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what did everyone else think about? Yeah, I mean, there was a few places discussed when we did this challenge, mm -hmm. so kind of steered away from those. I think that was a great choice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah there, there's there's a lot of good choice. There's other choices too that we we haven't uh, that we won't be touching on. Uh, it just depends on what everyone's looking for. So just make sure you give us a call if you're looking for a specific community here in the Central Florida area. So Amanda, it was your challenge. So you go so, last. What did you pick? I decided to go with the active adult community. They have a lot of amenities, an activities director. Uh, I was in the Kissimmee St. Cloud area. Looked at a few. Um, some were still under construction, the amenities weren't ready yet. So I went with Four Seasons, got a grand tour, lots and lots of things to do, um, 55 and up, and you know, you can do anything from pool, there's yoga, there's, I mean, actual pool. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming, um, and, they, and they just, they showed me the calendar of events and it was amazing. Um, COVID kind of put some restrictions, but once everything's up and running again, you won't get bored. <laughs> so. Awesome, so let's check out the video. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Haynes. I'm a realtor with Preferred Real Estate Brokers on the Mellow Group. And today I'm going to take you inside of a community, show you all of their amenities. We have a team challenge to see who can find a brand new community with lots of amenities, for the residents to enjoy. This one's 55 plus, it's guard gated, it's in a great location, and I'm gonna take you inside and Shannon's gonna show us around. Down here is the main resident pool. Um, we have the zero entry with the water aerobic area where we do water aerobics every week. We also have laps. And then off to the side, we have a family pool. This down here is the bocce court. And then behind that tennis first court. fence is the pickleball. And then over there is the tennis. Here is our line. This is where we're trying to do some of the seminars that we can't hold inside the clubhouse. was on the um, Survivor Show, the 40th season. So they came up and cheered her on in here. That you can come up, get a cup of coffee, watch TV. Here we do a bunch of crafts. 
Right now we have a stitch and chat group that will come out every week. They'll stitch, so they just kind of come out and hang in. They actually make blankets for children in hospitals. We have our card room. We have our poker players, and we also have our hand and foot players that play as well. So they'll come in here and use this. brand new. We got them while we were in lockdown. Uh, we have a pool table and a ping pong table. These are available for the residents to play by reservation, but they can come out to friends, family, whenever they're ready. I hope you enjoyed the tour. It has a low HOA, really great single family homes and villas. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Bye-bye, everyone. So, yes, active adult communities here. Central Florida, a lot of people from the north, people from all over the states come here to Central Florida to retire, no state income tax, mm -hmm. so relatively cheap living, cheap property taxes, too, compared to other states. So, you know, they have lots of cool activities. I know I look at it and go, wow, this would be cool. And, you know, maybe like, I'm 10 years away from that. I know, I'm so, excited. You know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Some of them are awesome. I mean, I've been to Tw Twin Borders, and it, it, all the different ones are have all different really cool things. Mm -hmm. um, it, that that, that uh, lady, she didn't want to get on camera, did she? Oh, she did great. Yeah, did really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what, what does everyone else think about um, that? I can't wait to be 55. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I wouldn't want, so I wouldn't want to live there until I'm like retired. Yeah. Because right now I wouldn't be able to take advantage of all those amenities, which a lot of people don't understand is that they, they may buy in the amenities, and the amenities ones do typically have a higher monthly cost. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you if you're working 80 hours a week, it's kind of hard to actually use those amenities. But if you have family members that are off or can use them, definitely that very valuable um, thing to have. Um, so, but yeah. And most of the time, people are downsizing. Mm -hmm. You know, their families have been downsized. Yeah. So, you may not find a house as big as um, you would have had when your children were home. A lot of them are single story houses mm -hmm. as well. There, there's one I just posted on my YouTube channel with like 3,000 square feet, mm -hmm. which on a single story is actually very That's spacious. Very spacious. <laughs> yeah, three car garage. I mean, it's, it's, you do get some decent options, um, some pretty big houses here, even though you might not get a you know huge house, but still 3,000 on one single story is huge. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. Oh, yeah, it's very very people. <laughs> yeah. All right, so everyone watching, if you watch this far, thanks so much. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on YouTube and also. So subscribe to our channel and tell us in the comments below which one of these communities that you'd be interested in. Are you looking for an active adult community? Because we have a lot of people that watch our channels that do like the active adult. We sold a lot of active adult communities, homes in active adult communities. Or would you like the regular community? Or are you thinking about buying a vacation home? Which one of these do you like? Or which one would you like to visit? Thanks everyone for watching. Talk to you later.